Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at Trans West, truck trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's about 30 minutes north of Denver, right here on I-25. Super easy to find right here on the frontage road. This morning, I have another brand new inventory piece I'm gonna be showing you guys. It just arrived, I think last week, and it actually is one of Logan's newest models. So I'm really excited to show this one to you guys. It is their new model called a Cattleman. So kind of some cool features on this one. We're gonna go ahead and pull up the drawing and review it together before we get to it. But some of the key features to note on this drawing while you guys are looking at it, you'll see it is six feet and six inches tall. It is seven feet, three inches wide. You're gonna have two 8,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles under it with some G-rated tires, 16 inch wheels, and it is a 24 foot model. So you got 24 feet on the floor, you got those two cut gates in there, so you're going to have three boxes in this one. So really cool, one of their newer models, like I said, I'm really excited to show it to you. What I really like about this one is going to be the versatility aspect of it. It being that six feet, six inches tall, it's not quite a low pro, but it's also not quite just full on horse trailer height either. But it's kind of a good mix of both to where you can use it for both functions if you need to. So I really like the setup of this one and kind of anything it can do for you guys. For those of you that aren't quite familiar with Logan Coach, these trailers are going to be on a galvanized steel frame with aluminum skin. Being a brand new trailer, you're going to get an eight year structure warranty on this one, as well as two year nose to tail hitch to bumper warranty on these guys. So you're going to get some great warranties buying new. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started and take a look at this trailer here in person. So right up front, you're gonna start with your escape door. It's here on your passenger side or your right-hand side. You're gonna have one escape gate on this trailer. So it is gonna lead right into our first stall here. I have all the gates swung open, but you'll see being a 24 foot trailer, it's leading into your first eight foot bay here. So kind of a neat feature about having this escape door here and that eight foot gate right there is if you did want to use this part for storage, um, a lot of people will use this as their tack room since it's not a stock combo, you don't have a front tack on this guy. They're gonna use this more as their dirty tack setup, so to speak. So you can use this for storage, throw all your ropes in there, throw your ram saddles in there, anything that you're gonna need once you get to where you're going, your pack saddles, if you're gonna use this for hunting maybe. All that can be stored up there, and then you're still gonna have two more eight foot bays. So you're still gonna have a 16 foot stock trailer behind you. So that's kind of a really neat feature about having your escape gate right here. And then down the side, you do have tie rings right here. So if you do use this as your tack space, you're gonna be able to tie up all your horses right here. This trailer does have your open air gaps right now. It is set up to where you could order some plexiglass, get it cut to size and throw that in there, which would then cover up your vertical supports right here so they still are going to give you those tie rings that way when you do throw plexiglass in here that way you you don't have this option to tie to you're going to have tie rings all down the side here and then up above you do have an led light over these tie rings giving you guys some visibility off of this trailer um, if you are using it in the instance of packing or hunting i know those mornings start really early i've been on one trip myself so far i see more in my future but I know they start two, three o'clock in the morning. It's pitch black. You need to saddle your horses before you throw them on the trailer. You're going to have some light here to do that. So you're just going to grab your tack right there, saddle them, throw them on the trailer, and you're going to have your visibility right off your tie rings here as well as inside. And then right below that, you do have your two 8,000 pound axles. I did check the weight on this one. It looks like it's going to sit just under 7,000 pounds empty coming in at 69.50. So plenty of weight carrying capacity on top of your 8,000 pound axles still. You do have steel wheels under this one, giving you just some more rugged versatility if you are hauling these up into the mountains or through pastures, that kind of scenario. And you do have your Westlake G-rated tires on there. Being brand new tires, you are gonna get with these ones, you do get a one year, no questions asked replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance if you ever need that. So we'll go ahead and step our way around this. I'm just gonna close this gate as we go by so I can show you the functions of this gate before we get into the trailer. So 
all I did there was just slam it shut. It will, it is on a slam latch, so it'll slam itself shut. And then over here is your actual like locking mechanism. So right now the gate is not gonna open, but if you are gonna go somewhere, haul down the road, you're just gonna lock it over here like this. So then you can unlock it that way. So now you either have the option to hit this bar here and unlock your gate, your full swinging gate, or you can leave it locked how that is, undo this one here, and then you can slide open your slider gate on the rear here. So lots of functionality, lots of, lots of versatility to this trailer here having this setup. It really is set up as a cattle hauling trailer, but also having the, um, the height and the width that it does, it can be used for horses as well. And then I know a lot of the sliding gates are gonna be used to separate off cattle in some situations. And actually I have been, when I worked for a trainer, what we actually used this for was, this was like our, our yearling trailer. We used it to go catch our yearlings out of the pasture. So we'd back this up to the gate, run our yearlings on there. And then we have the gates in the middle with what we'll see is our, we have these bars on the outside to unlock them. We've got one at each gate on this trailer, which we'll see over on that side. But it makes it really easy to use from the outside as well. So when you're dealing with those unhandled weanlings or yearlings up and coming, and most of those were studs. So throwing them all on here and then being able to kind of work them through these gates from the exterior and then use this slider gate back here to run them off and then catch them and keep some in there and keep some coming out. It just works really well. So I think there is, like I keep saying, just a lot of versatility to this trailer, having the setup that it does and the amenities that it does. So I'm really, really pleased with this new model from Logan. I really like this one. Underneath it, we're gonna have our aluminum slotted flooring. So it does look like wood planks, but they're actually aluminum. So they're aluminum planks. They're gonna have slats through them. And then on top of that, you're gonna have this polylast flooring, which is a really cool product as well. What this is doing for you in here is just creating a full pour-in rubber mat. So you don't have those seams that you would have in typical rubber mats that just run every six feet, right? You don't have any seams across this trailer. It just is a 100% pour-in rubber mat. So when you are running cattle through here, you're running yearlings or you're running your pack horses, your ranch horses up on here, you don't have to worry about anyone getting their hoofs under there and then getting manure or urine under there and having those peel up and just become a hassle for you. You do have this flooring here. It is also very, called like a sure grip flooring because it does provide a lot of traction. So when they are stepping in and out of this, there's not gonna be that slip factor. And then I am gonna have my cameraman zoom in on our little sticker over here, which is just gonna explain it a lot better than I can but it also shows you this picture. So those aluminum planks that I was talking about are right here, which looks like a wood plank from up above if you could see it. And then you have your slats through there because this is a permeable self-draining floor. So anything that does urine or water spill on this floor, it will drain through those slatted planks that we've seen in that photo there. So really cool, lots of features to this flooring. I really like that. So you're gonna have their six foot, six inch height. When you get to your gates here, it is gonna drop down a little bit here. I am just shy of six feet, maybe pushing six feet, but I can still walk through, clear my head. So you know that if you have those shorter, stockier ranch horses, they're still gonna be able to get through here. They're just gonna know, duck their heads and get in. Underneath, obviously, you're still gonna have plenty of clearance for your saddles and your ropes or anything else that needs to come through here. And then down your driver's side over here, your left-hand side, you're gonna have a full length tie rail so you can tie them anywhere you need to in here. If you're tying them side by side, you do have that option to just go ahead and tie them anywhere versus having to tie to a tie ring or a vertical support. You do have one, excuse me, over here on the passenger side as well. So my gate was just blocking it. So you do have a full length tie rail down both sides so you can tie them if you needed to. To fit more on here you can tie nose on this side and then nose on this side and kind of be able to get them in here sideways being that seven three feet wide you do have some extra width to work with there so over here on my gate what i just did was unlock it it does have this mechanism here 
So right now it's locked, it will stay open for us. All you're gonna do is pull down on this and then twist it to the side to get that to latch down and then that will swing out of the way so it doesn't hurt anything. And then you do just have a slam latch to get it shut as well. So this is kind of what your gates look like. You're gonna have your solid down below and then a little bit of airflow up above just to keep air moving through this trailer. But of course, solid down below so we don't have any issues there. And then your unlocked, unlatching mechanism on the outside there, which is still very easy to reach on the inside if need be. We do have a couple lights in here as well. I was talking about that visibility on the exterior. We do have some in here as well. Secondary gate, same thing. I'm just unlocking it like I had done over there. This one also is going to slam shut. Looks the exact same. Really easy to use, guys. This is just a nice, well set up trailer. And then up front here, we were talking about our escape gate and then using this first one as your dirty tack setup. You do also have your nose up here as well. So I was actually helping my fiance pack for hunting camp the other week and what I saw that he did with his, which I've never used this setup for me personally. I always have a tack room on mine, but some of you are gonna know this. He just, you just throw a tarp down and then load all your stuff on top of that and then pull the tarp over the top and it's just fully contained, wrapped up in a tarp. And then you have all your stuff up there and then you can just shut your gate. So it will stay up there, but then you've also went ahead and protected it with your tarp as well. So really nice just having that as more storage too. That could work really well to throw some feed up there if you need to, or just even if you didn't need to use the tarp, just throw your tack up there if you didn't want to use the space or you had more head on here that you needed all that 24 foot room. You do have that as well. And again, a light up there, just so you guys can see what you're doing. Okay, we'll make our way back out of this trailer. Your light switches are just gonna be right here on the side. There's one for interior and one for exterior. And then same over here on our head side or our left hand side, it's gonna look very similar. We're gonna have our LED light up above those tie rings. And then we do have our, this is what I was using inside to unlock those gates. So all you're just gonna do with this is just pull it forward. If you're facing this way, you just push it forward. That's gonna unlock your gate. So that worked really well. Again, like I said, when we were sorting off yearlings to be able to climb up on your fender here, be able to see what you needed inside. And then if you had, we, obviously we had a couple people, but to be able to work your gates from the inside and the outside just worked really well for that setup. And again, for cattle as well, just sharing my experiences. I haven't run a bunch of cattle, but I've used it for yearlings. So just kind of sharing what I've done with it in case maybe that would work for you guys as well. No escape gate on this side, you just have it on the other side. This is our first one that we've actually got on the lot. So this is our first model, that 24 foot. I know we do have a 20 foot coming in as well. They do make these in a bumper pull too. They make them in different sizes. They make them, we could actually add like another escape gate if we needed to. There's just some different features you can do with these. So just know this is our first one here. I really do like the setup on this one, but if there's something that you guys need differently, that is always an option to go ahead and talk to Logan and see what they could change on these guys. And then finishing up front. You guys will notice this black, what looks like bed liner lining. It is called their vortex lining. It is something that Logan does on their trailers. They're gonna coat all their exposed metal. They're actually gonna coat underneath your floor as well. So I know I talked about it being aluminum planks. If you look underneath, it's actually all gonna be sprayed with this vortex lining. So what that is doing for you in this exterior situation and in most situations is just protection. It is a great product to protect your trailer from salt spray or gravel throwing up at this, the salt getting spraying the bottom of your trailer and trying to cause any corrosion there on your aluminum. It's just, it's, it is a nice product and they do offer a limited lifetime corrosion warranty having that product. You do have one single 
manual crank jack on this guy and then your matching spare tire something and if you're looking for upgrades to do would be to add an electric jack so i think we could do it with our spare tire right here being that 73 wide if not we just bump that up to here a little bit make room for that big electric jack box here and then what we do is we also install an aluminum battery box right here i think we have plastic ones as well if you're looking for options the aluminum ones are really nice to put your battery in that's going to run that jack it's also going to run your lights so if you did like right now i have to have it plugged in to run my lights to show you guys i've got it on my battery right now so that would be a nice feature to have a battery on this trailer so that you can run your lights when it's not hooked up to a truck that way, if you haven't quite hooked up yet or you've already unhooked and you just need to use this to saddle or unsaddle or something like that, that way you can still see what you're doing and run your lights that way. And then, of course, to run your electric jack. So I'll finish right up here at our stock tag. Right here is what this is a QR code that we have to scan if you're walking the lot. If you're online right now, scroll to the bottom of our webpage in the bottom right hand corner. You can just type in that stock number 5N231346. It will take you to the webpage for this trailer. It'll run you through kind of the specs that it has, as well as our sale photos of this trailer. So you can kind of see, be able to zoom in on those. If you're looking for something specific or if you wanted to see this spec sheet or that drawing that I showed you guys earlier. My contact info is going to show up on your screen, so feel free to reach out and ask for any of that information. I'll be glad to send it to you. My cell phone is going to be 303-918-6367. Again, you can call or text that because it is my cell phone. And then if you prefer to email, that is Michaela.geist at transwest.com. I can email over that spec sheet and drawing as well. So whatever works best for you guys. But again, a 2024 Logan Coach Cattleman stock trailer, one of their newer models. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and see the potential that this trailer has to offer. So have a great rest of your Wednesday. Enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend. We'll see you guys next week.